Welcome to our new video. This time around we are doing a non-scripted video after a reader's request to do a video on our Peppermint OS X build customization. A link to our previous Peppermint OS X related video is in the description down below. First of all, just a brief reminder on what Peppermint OS X brings to the table by default. Like we have said in our previous videos, Peppermint OS X offers the so-called classic desktop paradigm with the panel at the bottom of the screen. The panel is reminiscent of the older versions of the Windows taskbar. The system tray area is in the right-hand corner of the panel, while some apps shortcuts are placed on the left-hand side together with the start menu. And this is our starting point. Now, the very first thing we usually do is resize the panel because it's really tiny in our view. You need to right-click the panel, choose the Panel Preferences option and increase its size. The next thing is to move the panel at the top of the screen. But first, you need to unlock the panel and drag and drop it to the top. And of course, lock it again. What we need at this moment is a dock that will sit at the bottom of the screen. So let's go to the Software Manager app where we find Plank, our favorite dock app in GNU slash Linux desktops. Of course, we will install it with all the additional software needed. This is Plank and from the start we need to clean it up a little bit. You can do it by just dragging the unnecessary items out of it. If you want to add items to the dock, you just drag and drop them down there. Plank will not start with the system by default, so it needs to be added to the startup apps. So let's go to the Peppermint Settings panel app, where within the System tab we find Startup and Default Applications item. You need to click the Auto Start section, where you need to type in the command to make Plank start with the system during the bootup process. Just type in the slash USR slash bin slash Plank line and click Add. Now it's a good idea to restart the system. We are back in our Peppermint OS X newly installed build. As you can see, the next issue is the fact that your open apps are now shown both in the panel and in the dock, which is something that we don't want. Actually, we install the dock to serve for the application switching in the first place, and the panel will remain there as a place for notifications, system tray, the start menu and so on. So again, we have to go to the Panel Preferences and there click on the Items tab and remove the Windows Buttons functionality. Now the Peppermint OS X panel is similar to panels found in, say, GNOME or Elementary OS. When it comes to the dock, you need to hover over it. Press the control button on your keyboard while pressing the right-click button of your mouse and Planck's preferences will appear. In this way, you can change your dock's theme, then its behavior and finally add some docklets. For this video, we will add the trash docklet to the Planck. And it's not all. You can go to the very popular website in the Linux community, gnome-luke.org, and there you can find some nice Plank themes too. We like the Pantheon Plank theme, which is obviously named after the Pantheon desktop environment found in elementary OS.
Now let's download a file, which we find in our downloads folder. First, the file needs to be extracted within the folder, and then we open the home folder, where we will enable the show hidden files functionality. The following thing is to enter the Planks Themes folder, located in Local Share and then Plank folders. And now simply cut the extracted folder to the Plank Themes folder. The next move is to log out and log back in the system. After logging back into the desktop, again we need to enter the Planck's preferences and simply choose the newly installed theme, which is in our view much nicer compared to those default ones. Now let's populate the dock even more. We will throw some more shortcuts to it, like for instance Word Online, just to show you an example of how to do it. If you don't like the default desktop background, you can change it, of course. Right-clicking the desktop opens a menu, and when you click the Change Desktop Background option, you are presented with several high-quality wallpapers that Peppermint OS offers by default. There are quite a few of them, and they all seem to be nicely picked. Just for now, let's take this one, but still, there are many more on offer. And this is Linux, so if you don't like the default desktop theme and icons either, you can change those too. We open Peppermint Settings panel and click the Customize Look and Feel option. As you can see, there are many preloaded themes, here called widgets on offer. The same goes for icon themes. Dozens of icon themes are pre-installed. Check them all out by yourself. Still, if you want to install additional desktop and icon themes, as we have already mentioned, you can go to the gnome-look.org website and download them. These are mainly very popular themes in the Linux community, and those the most popular are regularly updated. Now let's spice the things up a little bit in the video. On the gnome-look.org website we will find and download one of our favorite icon themes, and that is the Tila icon theme. We believe it is really a nice looking and modern icon theme for Linux based desktops. It comes in many colors, but we prefer the blue one. As usual, the first thing we do is to download the file. The next move is to enable hidden files to be visible in the file manager. There's no dedicated .icons folder in the home folder, so we simply create one. This is exactly the place where we will move the icon theme folder right after we extract it. Now let's turn off the show hidden files functionality and log out of the system. After the login back, now it's time to set the new icon theme as default. 
Again, we are going to the Peppermint Settings panel, then clicking the Customize Look and Feel button and finally choosing the new icon theme. More precisely, its dark variant. Let's change the desktop theme too, so that it matches the new icon theme color. For that purpose, we will choose the Arc Blue Dark widget. Meanwhile, we have prepared a new wallpaper that will also match the new icon and desktop theme colors. Since it's not one of the backgrounds Peppermint OS X comes with, we need to add our pictures folder to the wallpapers app. The new desktop background is at the bottom of the list. So now our Peppermint OS X build has been completely transformed. It looks nothing like it was before the customization. We hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.